fish eaters and swift swimmers, flightless bird hunters of the southern seas, king and emperors among rulers. All penguins are semi-aquatic, spending more than half their lives in the water and are excellent swimmers. With the exception of some rudimentary feathers on their heads and neck, penguins are entirely black and white. This tuxedo-like colouring is what give penguins their common name. Only found in the Southern Hemisphere, penguins are one of the few animal species that can survive in the Antarctic, where temperatures can drop to as low as 50 degrees Celsius below zero. This pattern constitutes a form of camouflage, known as counter-shading, with the blacks blending in with the dark sea when seen from above, and the whites making them hard to distinguish against the bright sunlight when seen from below. Penguins diverged from other birds some 60 to 70 million years ago, and fossils of early basal penguins have been discovered in both New Zealand and Antarctica. These ancestors of modern penguins have flippers adapted for a life in shallow water rather than flight, and their bones have flattened, broadened and fused together to form a single stiff surface covered in short, scale-like feathers. Unlike the empty bones of flightless birds, modern penguins can weigh as much as 90 pounds, allowing them to overcome buoyancy. The Anthroperineus, a type of penguin that lived around 40 million years ago and grew to the size of a grown man, is one such example. There are currently 20 recognised species of penguins, which are further subdivided into six genus based on size and a wide variety of subtle markings. The largest penguins are the king and emperor penguins, which are distinguished by their massive size and brightly coloured yellow beaks, necks and breasts. These penguins are the most primitive of the species and can be found primary along the coast of Antarctica and the islands to the south. There are three species of brush-tailed penguins which are found primarily in Antarctica, but whose range extends northward past the Great Penguins range. There are also two species of little penguins, the little blue and the white flippered penguin, which are found primarily in New Zealand. Finally, there are four species of meniscus, which are known for the large black band on their bellies. They are the only penguins to exhibit sexual dimorphism, with males being slightly bigger and having larger bills than females. And to crossbreed, producing hybrid species, New Zealand penguins can be found in the Indian, Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. On land, they waddle along quickly, look clumsy due to their high centre of gravity and small feet. Dive species that specialise in fish have longer, thinner bills that help them grasp and hold their prey while diving, while penguins that eat smaller crustaceans like krill have shorter, broader bills that allow them to take in more prey in a single bite. A penguin's mouth is further lined with small thorny spikes facing the throat with even the tongue having a rough, spiny texture to the fur that covers it. They are designed to shiver and snuggle together in groups to create extra heat, especially during the harsh Antarctic winter months. And the emperor penguin's extra coat of fat, which can grow to be almost an inch thick, helps with this. Some penguin species, like the Galapagos penguin, have the unusual problem of frequently overheating, but most are able to control blood flow to their extremities at will, minimising the amount of blood that gets cold by slowing their heart rate while diving and employing a complex counter-current heat exchange system while on land. Penguins can be broken down into three distinctive groups. The contact cry is the loudest of the larger penguin species and is used to locate and identify individuals within the Greek colony. Because all penguin cries are unique, the exhibition of the most complex cry utilised by penguin pairs communicates territorial, sexual and individual recognition information, helping partners find each other by sound with the simplest call being the threat call. Penguins form monogamous pairs during breeding season, usually switching mates only if their mate from the previous year 
does not return to the same nesting area. The rookery area typically stays the same year after year and is often far from the ocean. Penguins breed once every 12 to 16 months, with only the emperor penguin breeding during winter. As a rule, the males are the ones who show up first to the new territory in order to set up a nest. Most birds make nests out of stones or twigs and lay their eggs in a variety of locations, including forests, bushes, rocky coastlines, and even flat inland ice shelves. There are three main sorts of courtship displays that the female employs to attract potential suitors. After the male has established possession of a nest site, with work calls and head swinging, the female will perform the ecstatic display, also known as trumpeting, to show her interest by facing her mate and doing the movements either alternatively or in unison to establish a pair bond and continue the display throughout egg incubation. A deep bow from one partner to another can convey a lot of information. Before consummation, their partner also performs this. A female penguin can lay one or two eggs after a brief courtship. Emperor and king penguins, on the other hand, incubate their eggs by taking turns, sitting on their single leg atop their feet and tucking it under a loose fold in the lower abdomen. The featherless patch, known as a brood patch, is filled with blood vessels that transfer heat from the body to the egg. Although most penguins live for at least 15 years, king penguin chicks have a mortality rate of over 50% during the harsh winter months due to lack of food and emperor penguin chicks have a mortality rate of over 90% in their first year due to the same reason. Killer whales, sharks, sea lions, leopard seals and other predators feast on the eggs and chicks of penguins who had wandered too far from their rookeries and are too sick or weak to defend themselves. Since many Antarctic species lack land predators, including humans, Penguins quickly become popular among explorers and sailors for their apparent lack of fear of humans. The word penguin itself originated as a term from the extinct Great Ank of the Northern Atlantic, which was only distantly related to penguins, but looked similar enough that it soon zeroed in on the defenceless penguins for both their meat and their eggs. This practice was started by indigenous people and carried on by Western fishermen and explorers who found penguins to be an easy source of food due to their inability to fly and their lack of fear of humans. Penguin skin was also used to make items of clothing like caps and slippers. Due to its dense flannel, it was also prized for its insulation properties. Over 2.5 million penguins are estimated to have been killed over just a 15-year period in the early 1900s due to the high demand for penguin oil, which was extracted from the fat of the birds. The Falkland Islands were once known for their large population of penguins, with five different species often nesting on the island. Overfishing in the South Pacific has led to dramatic declines in penguin populations across the globe, impacting not only penguin colonies directly, but also the livelihoods of fishermen in the area due to bycatch and drowning. This is just one of many documented climate changes that have led to population declines. Additionally, thousands of penguins have been poisoned by oil leaks with the crude oil becoming stuck in their feathers, diminishing their insulation qualities and ultimately succumbing to hypothermia. Despite the fact that most penguins are now protected or endangered, the illegal harvesting of penguin eggs continues, often sold as a delicacy because of their unusually large yolks. Penguin meat is also still finding uses as bait for fishermen in the South Seas, despite many legal sanctions against any form of killing of penguins. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching, so please give me thumbs up Share it with your friends and I hope I will see you with the next video.